Hi, uh, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk further on the RMS Titanic. I wanted to share some information and talk about some of the aspects and uh, false tales and myths and other things that are all part of the Titanic story. Because we do have to look at the Titanic as an amazing story. I mean, it is this wonderful parable about building a ship that God himself could not sink. And then on its first voyage, it sank. Pretty good story. And to a degree, there is some truth to the story, of course. The ship was, as I have said before in previous videos, practically unsinkable. Now, I think you should look up what practically means. It means almost. But almost never means totally. You know, as I mentioned before, a practically fireproof theater means it's almost, but, you know, we can still have a fire. Practically unsinkable means the same thing. It's pretty well designed, but it can still sink. And, of course, the Titanic demonstrated that fact very well. Now, the interesting thing about the Titanic quite often is the photographic evidence about the ship itself. Now, yes, there was some cosmetic differences between the Titanic and her sister, the Olympic, we're going to leave Britannic out of the picture because Britannic never had an opportunity to be an ocean liner. It was only working as a hospital ship during World War I. But the differences between the Olympic and the Titanic were mainly cosmetic. There were a few changes inside. There were extra staterooms and... and uh, Different windows put in different places, different uh, numbers of portholes put here, there, and everywhere else. But all in all, they were basically very much the same. It's interesting to note that we don't know exactly what the grand staircase looked like on the Titanic, because there isn't a single photograph of it. Every photograph you see is of the Olympic. Most of the staterooms that you see in pictures are from the Olympic, although there are a series of very fancy rooms that were on the Titanic. The only existing photograph of the dining room on the Titanic is a somewhat flawed photograph taken by Father Brown uh, when he was there. There are no sweeping views of the dining room. There are no sweeping views of various rooms. Almost all of them are of the Olympic. So when people sit there and say they're, you know, the Titanic was very unique, well, that's not really very true. She was somewhat of a cookie cutter ship. In fact, the three vessels were designed initially pre-Titanic disaster, to be quite similar in size. It's quite similar in design. Um, although each coming model would have improvements that would be learned from each previous uh, design. Uh, case in point, the Britannic would be quite different in, in some respects. Its swimming pool would be far better than the Olympics or the Titanics. Uh, the Grand Staircase would be different. We have an organ there and stuff like that. The, the staterooms would be uh, maybe a little different in the sense of not being as posh. Because uh, in some respects, the Olympic and the Titanic kind of went over the top with some of that stuff. Um, but nonetheless... Outside of that, there really wouldn't be too much difference. So that's an important thing to realize, that when we talk about the RMS Titanic and look at the pictures, 
a vast majority of them are the Olympic, which basically tells you they were basically the same ships. The only difference was uh, the changes that were added to the Titanic, which were, which were few. But there were two big cabins made with, uh, with basically wonderful porches that were right on the sides of the ship where you could sit there and stroll on your own private promenade. Uh, that was unique uh, to the Titanic. Uh, the Café Parisien was unique to the Titanic, although a lot of the things that were on the Titanic would later be incorporated into the Olympic. And one has to remember the Olympic was totally rebuilt in 1900 and Twelve going into 1913 uh, to basically make it a safer and uh, more up-to-date ship following the Titanic disaster. And of course the Britannic would take it several steps further, but of course as we know the Britannic was sunk during World War I after striking a mine. And uh, what was it off of Greece I believe? Now, one other thing to mention before I end here uh, is that one thing we always have to remember with the Titanic is that the Titanic is a fabulous and wonderful ship. The Olympic was a fabulous and wonderful ship. And in most respects, there was very little difference between them. And I think that's an unfortunate thing that isn't expressed very often. Because so often we hear of the Titanic being something amazing and something unique unto itself, which it clearly and totally was not.